Hello everyone, this is Dr. M. Vijay Sankar, Assistant Professor, Department of Statistics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Tatanamis Kadalur. Our subject name is Business Statistical Methods and our subject code is 21 ABS 22. Unit 2, we are going to find the skewness from the methods of dispersion. The skewness is calculated by quarrel patient question of skewness. Let us discuss how to find the quarrel patient question of skewness for the continuous case data. The formula is the quarrel patient question of skewness is SKP equal to mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. The same formula is re represented in the symbolic form is SKP equal to x bar minus z divided by sigma where x bar is the mean and z is the mode, sigma is the standard deviation. Here the formula for mean x bar equal to summation of f1 by capital N and the mode formula is L plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into c and the standard division formula is sigma equal to square root of summation f m squared by n minus summation of f m by n whole square. This formula is only ab applicable for continuous case data. Example 1. Let us discuss example 1. The calculate correl patient coefficient from the following data. Here the data is given below. The class interval CI that is CI 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. And the corresponding frequency values is 11, 13, 15, 7, 5, 6. Using these values, we are going to find the correl patient question of skewness. The solution the correl patient question of skewness formula is SKP equal to mean minus mode that by standard deviation. Already we have discussed the same formula in the previous slide. First of all, we are going to find the mean value and more, then mode value and find, third one is standard deviation. Finally, we substitute the mean mode standard deviation values in our SKP formula. Using this data, we are going to calculate mean. That is, mean formula is x bar equal to summation of fm by capital N. In numerator, we are having summation of fm and in numerator, we are, we are having the capital N. Capital N is nothing but sum of all the frequency values and f is the frequency and the m is the middle value from the class interval. So, here the middle value is not given in the problem. So, we are going to find the middle value from the class interval. See here. The class interval values is 0 to 10 up to 50 to 60 and the corresponding frequency values is 7, 10, 8, 12, 14, 17. Adding this value, we get the sum of x value is 68. The sum of f is equivalent to capital N. Next, we are finding the middle value. M means middle value from the class interval. So, class interval value, first class interval value is 0 to 10, that middle value is 5. The second class interval is 10 to 20, that middle value is 15. Likewise, we are finding the 25, 35, 45, 55. Next, we are going to find FM values. Multiply the frequency values with the M. We get the FM value. That is 7 into 5, 35. 10 into 15, 150. 8 into 25, 200. 12 into 35, 420. 14 into 45, 630. 17 into 55, we get 935. Sum of this, all the FM value, we get 2370. Now, using these two values, the summation of FM value and the summation of F value, we can calculate mean. That is, our sum of FM values is 2370 and the capital N, N, N values is 68. Dividing these two values, we get 34.85. Therefore, mean values is 34.85. Next, we are going to calculate the mode. The mode formula is L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into C. First of all, we are going to find the F1 values. Well, what, what do you mean by F1? F1, F1 is the highest frequency value from the given table. Here in this table, the highest frequency value is 17. So, yeah, 17 is our yeah, mode class. Using this mode class, we can easily calculate L value, F0 value, F2 value and C value. Now, using this mode class, we get the lower L value. That is, L is the lower limit of the mode class. Here, the class interval is 50 to 60, the corresponding to 17th value. So, lower limit is 50 and the difference of the class interval is 10. So, C value is 10. And the F1 value is 17. Then, uh, using this uh, mode class, we are going to calculate to F0 value and F2 values. The F0 is the preceding value of the mode class, that is 14. And the F2 value is the succeeding value of the mode class, that is 0. See here, 
our f1 value is 17 and f0 value is 14 and f2 value is 0, the c value is 10 and lower limit value is 50. Substitute this all the values in our mode formula, finally we get that mode answer. So our mode answer is 51.5. Similarly, we are going to find the standard deviation. The standard deviation formula is sigma equal to square root of summation of fm squared by n minus summation of fm by capital N whole square. So already we have calculated the summation of fm values and the n values, but we not calculated the summation of fm squared value. So we are going to find the fm squared value here. In this table, already we have calculated the summation of fm value 2317 and the summation of fla that means capital N value is 68. Now we need m squared and fm squared. The m squared is nothing to calculated from the m value. The squaring the m values we get the m squared value. 5, we, get, we are going to squaring this value, 5 squared, we get 25, 15 squared, 225, 25 squared, 625, 35 squared, we get 1225, 45 squared, we get 2025, 55 squared, we get 3025. Using this m squared value and multiply with the frequency, finally we get the fm squared value. 7 into 25, 175, 10 into 225, we get 2250. 8 into 625 we get 5000, 12 into 1225 we get 14700, 14 into 2025 we get 28350, 28, 17 into 3025 we get 51425. Finally, we get the 1 lakh, uh, 1 lakh 1900. Substitute this value in our standard division formula. Here, the substitute the all the summa values of summation of fm square values is. Uh, 1 lakh 1900 and capital N value is 68 and the summation of FM value is 2370 divided by N value is 68 then square the second term For after simplification we get we get the sigma value is 16.85 now finally we are going to calculate the SKP our SKP formula is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation our mean answer is 34.85 and mode answer is 51.5 and standard deviation answer is 16.85 Substitute this value, finally we get our uh, SKP value is minus 0 0.98. Therefore, the coral patient question of skewness value is minus 0 0.98. The finally, we reach the result. The mean answer is 34.85, mode answer is 51.5, and standard deviation answer is 16.85, and the SKP answer is minus 0 0.98. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you for watching this video.